Hello! Melbourne 2019, how are we? Good, yes? Yeah, me too, woo and all that. 2019, year of progress. Things are changing. They are, things are changing. I'm old enough to remember. Time was, you saw a fellow with a neck tattoo. You thought, ooh, I'm gonna see a dead body now. <laughs> Now you see someone with a neck tattoo and you just think, oh, fuck, this latte is gonna be amazing. <laughs> bit of a rough year, though, for me. Bit of a rough year. Had to borrow money from my parents. Anyone else here have to borrow money from their parents? Yeah, that's what lies sound like. <laughs> 3,000 people, you all just went, yeah. <laughs> Define borrow. <laughs> they were dead and now I have their house. <laughs> Thank you, this side, for being honest. You guys, let's look in the mirror. <laughs> it's interesting. For, let me explain to this side who's lying to themselves what it's like to borrow money from your parents. You have to go to your mom and dad and say, hey, you know how you're supposed to teach me responsibility? <laughs> well, you failed. <laughs> and that comes with a hefty fine. And, and now I feel like they have power over me that they haven't had for years. Like, I, like I'm in love with a woman, and, and we want to get married, but we don't want a wedding, because we don't need a day to profess our love. I know we're in love. She knows we're in love. We're in love, because we do people that are in love things, like we've chosen food over sex. Because <laughs> when you're in love, you can have sex any time, but a good Thai restaurant will close. <laughs> And I thought the idea of having a wedding, I thought that was our decision. Evidently, I was wrong. My dad yelled at me. I was back home in Canada, visiting, walked into his house, no hello, just a, oh, I need to see you in the kitchen. I thought there was to be cake. <laughs> no cake, just my dad going, what's this I hear? You're thinking about getting married without a wedding? Do you know what a wedding is, John? It's a commitment ceremony. You're making a commitment to one another. If you don't have that commitment, do you know what you have? You have nothing. He said it with such conviction, I almost forgot he's divorced. <laughs> Three times. <laughs> couldn't stand there and be honest. I couldn't go, you wonder why I don't want to get married, Dad? I've been to a lot of weddings. <laughs> Thank you, this side, for getting that. You guys, let's go. Got a minute left, I don't have time to explain these things. Because <laughs> they say wedding days, they're days of lies. They say, oh, your wedding day, that'll be the happiest day of your life. What a judgment on my life. <laughs> I've led a very exciting life. I once was on a bus and a homeless man farted so loud it knocked over a child. <laughs> Seeing my girlfriend walk up the aisle of a church will never make me that happy. <laughs> and I got news for you. I'm not getting married in a church, because my parents want me to have a wedding, so obviously we're probably gonna end up having a wedding. But I'm not getting married in a church. I'm not getting married in a church, because I think it's disrespectful. I'm not Christian, I'm not getting married in a church. And I have a problem with Christianity. Here's my problem with Christianity. They hold meetings to discuss belief, and they hold those meetings 10.30 in the morning on a Sunday. <laughs> I believe in nothing at 10.30 in the morning on a Sunday. I don't even believe in being awake. <laughs> now I can feel some of you going, huh, another joke about Christianity. Wouldn't make that joke about the Muslims, would you? No, I wouldn't. You couldn't make that joke about Muslim people. They hold their meetings 5.30 Friday afternoon. <laughs> A totally reasonable time. Melbourne, I love you. Have a great festival. See you later.